Now that we got the content formatted as a table, let's just uh, jump right in and try to get it to be graphed out for us. So um, I have two documents open. I have first the index.html that I downloaded from the filament group over here, the filament jQuery visualize. Uh, it's just the box that was in there or rather the box, the uh, file that was in there and I have my Facebook shares file which is the actual file that uh, I got to render an HTML table based on the JSON data I'm getting from Facebook so so far so good which with each independently but now it's time to kinda merge these two together and, and hope things work out so um, let's look at what we need to do so actually here's how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take my Facebook shares and I'm gonna put it into the folder that I got all of the other stuff from the filament group from I'm just doing this because uh, I'm gonna I wanna copy and paste some of the uh, uh, files associated with this thing into my document without having to you know fuss around with the uh, relative URLs much so the easiest thing for me to do is just just that I'm going to take my Facebook shares and pop it into the same folder as the index.html file that I'm actually going to reference to kind of piece apart some of the code from there and paste it into my Facebook shares alright so far so good because uh, I guess all I did is move a file into a folder so <laughs> uh, alright let's see what I want to do next. Now it seems that um, looking at the index file, the one that I'm just going to copy from, uh, I see that I need this, definitely need this enhance.js, which is the filament group. They they have, um, I can't say I'm intimately familiar with this file that, that they're using, but basically it's like a progressive enhancement kind of JavaScript library you could use. So um, if you're if you want to dig into it a little bit you could find out for yourself exactly what that is um, alright next order of business is uh, this script which is may look odd to you if this is the first time you've seen it but this is how they execute their enhance.js function over here so this kind of syntax is specific at least to their enhance.js and it basically I know this load script kind of loads all the JavaScript and CSS uh, you know I'm going to just I'm, I don't I'm not going to pretend to know exactly what all that's doing but I could kind of as I work with it I'll mess with it a little bit more so let me copy this portion of the code and I'm going to bring that into I'm thinking the right thing to do is actually maybe put it in before my document ready declaration because this doesn't execute until everything is is finished downloading and I think this is actually going to try to uh, do a couple of things um, and since do a couple of things namely just kind of try to load these scripts and I wanted to start doing that as soon as the page as soon as the user even requests the page so okay I'm just going to do its thing because essentially that's what I'm doing with this code up here I'm not waiting for everything to download before you start downloading the JavaScript like we're doing here where you remember this line is just saying once everything's ready then start executing this stuff which makes sense okay so um, alright what else should we copy over uh, you know what I think that's it let's just give this a save um, Again, I moved it before I saved it. I want to make sure I save it within that filament group folder. Um, here we go. I'm not going to update my links. I don't want it to mess anything up. All right. Let's see what happens. Um, not really. huh? It seems like something is off over here. Oh, look at that. I just gave it a refresh and it worked. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, huh? There we go. I guess it started acting right. 
Now look at that. That is pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, so um, I had a little technical quirk. I'm not sure exactly what happened the first time I uh, loaded it in. I didn't get any graphs, although my content spit out. But as you see, I have a canvas graph thanks to HTML5. And look at that. Here are my URLs. That is pretty cool.